Sandra Martinez with Hollywood First Look, and today I'm chatting with one of the stars of The Hating Game, Austin Stoll. Let's take a first look. I'm trapped here day after endless day with my one maniacal nemesis. Four complaints this week, four. This is the period when you take a period and put, put it- put that donut hole away or I'm gonna shove it up your- You two are the worst part of my job. We're going to be hiring a managing director who will oversee each department. The job is mine, Shortcake. If you get the job, I'll resign, just like you will if I do. Ah, but I'm incapable of giving you that pleasure. Well, it's not the first time you said that to a woman, is it? <laughs> Austin, I gotta know, what was it like to team up with Lucy Hale again? It was great. Uh, yeah, we've known each other even before Fantasy Island, so we've, we've been friends for years now. Uh, and so when I got the script, she was already attached and I, I knew what I was I was getting into. Uh, and so I jumped in with both feet. Uh, I, I could just see us playing out these these scenes. And I, I really felt that we were both perfect for these characters and um, we could bring to life the banter as much as the romance and um, uh, and all, all of their journey in between those two. What? What I love so much about rom-coms, I'm a huge rom-com fan, um, is just the journey that we take, you know, with these characters. And I think you you both just did beautifully. So I need to know from you, you know, what was the first rom-com that you ever saw that you were like, oh my God, I love this. I'm a huge fan of When Harry Met Sally. I just love that movie. Uh, and, I, and, and just like Lucy and Josh, that these are people who get together and then fall out of it and then get together and then fall out of it. And the whole time you're just like, what the heck you two, just get together, you know, stop beating around the bush. And, and that's just what they're doing. They're not speaking their truths to one another. Uh, they're, they have so much in their hearts, but they're not willing to accept it because they have all of these self-defense mechanisms set up to, no, I, I need to protect myself here. And oh, that's a dangerous road, I could get hurt. Um, instead of giving yourself over to love and taking that leap of faith. Are you and he, like, there's a vibe there? No. I hate him with a passion. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Wowzers, what's the occasion? Psychological warfare. I wonder what it's like to use raw animal magnetism as a weapon. I had some weird dreams last night. I was in bed, naked. I have a theory. What are we doing this game that we play every day? Hating someone feels disturbingly like falling in love with them. Let's play a different game. A starting over game. Why? I, I don't want to be some experiment before you settle down. We, we are competing for the same job. It is impossible to trust each other. I'm in this. You can trust that. I love that this this starts off, you know, I mean, it's called The Hating Game. And, you know, the way that we can see things in the trailer, this is not a spoiler. Obviously, you start off and you don't like each other at all. <laughs> So, but you know, everything evolves and changes. So I want to know from you, what are some things that you started off hating that now you love? This could be food, this could be like routines, anything like that. I used to hate coconut. I was not a fan. Couldn't, couldn't smell. I didn't want to have it in my suntan lotion. Nothing. Um, I still probably couldn't have an almond joy. Uh, and coconut water is just disgusting. But um uh, I've really come around, like, if you offered me a, a coconut cream cake or something like that, I'm, I'm much more into it now. What are some of your favorite things about Josh? Like, what are some things that you're like, oh, I get, I get you? Uh, I really, I love that he was misunderstood. Um, that this, it, you, you think you know who Josh is right from the start of this, uh, of this script. And as an audience member, you might be thinking you haven't figured out and, uh, he's, he's cold and he's a workaholic and, um, uh, he's stubborn and set in his ways. And, um, and then you start to realize that, oh, I understand why he is the way he is. When you start to peel back his, his layers that, um, that he has a, a really difficult and complex relationship with his father, 
uh, and with his brother. Um, and, and then you start to understand why he might be a little closed off to having a, a work relationship. Um, and so it was the, it, it was the, uh, uh, the opening up of Josh that really drew me to the character. Thank you so much for watching. The Hating Game is now in select theaters and on demand. My name is Amy Cassandra Martinez, and I'll see you guys next time. I told you she'd back off if you let her think that she could pet the pony. I don't need any help beating her. You would just do whatever it takes to win. Whatever this is, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't understand you. I thought you hated me. Yep. So. What game should we play now?